Hello everyone, GameShark here and today I am going to be telling you all of the NPC's best loved gifts in Stardew Valley that you can give to them to get the most friendship points possible and easily gain hearts. You can give each villager two gifts per week, one per day. If you gift a loved item to an NPC you will automatically gain 80 friendship points. Every NPC in Stardew Valley has a universal loved gift as well as their personal loved gift. And these are the rabbit's foot and the prismatic shard. Giving all NPCs these two gifts will also give you the max 80 friendship points. No one will hate these items. If you give a villager their loved item on their birthday, you will get a times 8 bonus, giving you a huge total of 640 friendship points. Bear in mind, one full heart is equal to a total of 250 friendship points, so loved birthday gifts will promise you two full hearts without fail. And also, the quality of the gift you give is very important too. If the gift is a silver quality, you will get a 10% bonus to the whole gift. A gold quality gift will give you 25% bonus and iridium quality will give you a huge 50% bonus to the whole friendship point system. So let's get into this video starting with the husband candidates, the bachelors. Okay so the first person is Alex. Now he is a very hard person to try and marry because he only has two loved gifts and that is the complete breakfast and also the salmon dinner. These are the only two items that Alex loves, the rest of the items are just likes and neutral. Unless you give him obviously the two universal loved items, the rabbit's foot and the prismatic shard too. Now moving on to a not so picky person is the posh Elliot. His favourite loved items are crab cakes duck feathers, lobsters, pomegranates and a soup called Tom Car Soup. Any of these items are Elliot's personal favourite, he loves these so if you are wanting to marry Elliot or become good friends with him then make sure you use these gifts. Moving on to the next person is Dr Harvey. Now his favourite loved items of coffee, of course, he's a very busy doctor, he needs all of the energy he can get, so coffee is one of the loved items, also pickles, a super meal, truffle oil and a nice bottle of wine. The next person is Sam. Sam the man. His personal loved items are cactus fruit, don't ask why maple bars, pizza and tiger's eye which is a mineral. Also quite a tricky person to marry. Moving on to the next bachelor is Sebastian. Now his favourite loved items are the frozen tier, obsidian, pumpkin soup, sashimi, and the void egg. Strange items for a strange person. Last but not least, the main man himself, Shane, the alcoholic. So of course, the first loved items that Shane loves is beer. You will never disappoint him with a nice glass of beer. Also his favourite loved items are hot peppers, pepper poppers, which is a meal, and also a nice pizza. Shane is my man. Okay, that's the Bachelor Boys done. So now let's move on to the beautiful ladies, the wife candidates, the bachelorettes. The first lady is Abigail. Her favourite loved items are the Amethyst, the Blackberry Cobbler, Chocolate Cake, Puffer Fish, Pumpkins, and spicy eels. Some of those very simple to get. Moving on to the next person is Emily. She also likes amethysts, aquamarines, cloths, emeralds, 
jades, rubies, survival burgers, topazes, and piece of wool. So lots of minerals right there. So she's not a very picky lady. Emily likes a lot of items and a lot of those can be gained up in the mines. Now moving on to probably the hardest person to marry out of the girls is Haley. She only loves four items and that is the coconut, fruit salad, pink cake, and sunflowers. Obviously the sunflower and the coconut is quite easy to get but obviously she's limited to only four items compared to the rest. The next person, Leah. Her favourite loved items are goat's cheese, poppy seed muffins, salads, stir fries, truffles, vegetable medley and a nice bottle of wine. Very very easy to marry, that's why I chose Leah for my wife. The next lady is Maru. She likes so many items guys, it is unbelievable. She likes battery packs, cauliflowers, cheese cauliflower, diamonds, gold bars, iridium bars, miners tree, pepper poppers meal, rhubarb pie and strawberries. Those are her favourite loved items which are the best gifts to give. And last but not least the cute innocent penny. Her favourite loved items are diamonds, emeralds, melons, poppies, poppy seed muffins, red plate which is a meal, roots platter which is a meal and also sandfish and tom car soup. So those are the bachelorettes complete, those are all their loved items, as you could probably tell the girls were not fussy compared to the guys, they love a lot of gifts, there's so many to choose from which is typical. Now let's move on to the other villagers around town, the non-marriage candidates. Ok so starting off with Abigail's green haired mother Caroline. She only has two loved gifts and they are the fish taco and the summer spangle. The next villager is the local blacksmith Clint. He has a lot of loved gifts and one of them is Emily. But mainly they are rocks and minerals such as amethyst, aquamarine, emerald, gold and iridium bars, jade, ruby, topaz, omnigeodes, artichoke dip, and fiddle ed risotto. Next is Mr. Smarty Pants, the wildlife scientist, Maru's father Demetrius. He has four loved gifts, starting with a bean hot pot, ice cream, rice pudding, and the last one, strawberry. He has a very sweet tooth, just like me. 
The next villager is the old lady who is in charge of the town's flowers and does a great job, the lovely Evelyn. Her favourite loved gifts are beets, chocolate cake, diamonds, fairy rose, stuffing, and tulips. Moving on to another villager, the grumpy old sassy bugger himself, Evelyn's husband George. Now he only loves two gifts, which are leeks and fried mushrooms. The next person is Gus, the owner and chef of the Star Drop Saloon. His most loved gifts are diamonds fish tacos, orange, and a meal called escargot, which is like snails I believe. Ugh. Moving on to the young kids of Pelican Town, Little Jazz and Little Vincent. Jazz's loved gifts are Fairy Rose, Pink Cake, and plum pudding. And Vincent's most loved items are cranberry candy, grapes, and also pink cake. Next is Jodie, Sam's mother. She's bloody gorgeous and I wish you could marry her. Anyway, her most loved gifts are chocolate cake, crispy bass, diamonds, eggplant parmesan, fried eel, pancakes, rhubarb pie, and vegetable medley. She loves her food and cooking, don't she? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Next in line is Jodie's husband, the real life action man who is serving in the army, Sergeant Kent. He only has two loved gifts and the first is an AK-47. He loves roasted hazelnuts and fiddlehead risotto. the mayor of Pelican Town for over 20 years and in them 20 years has banged all of the women around town, the reason he has stayed mayor for so long. The one who leaves his purple shorts in Marnie's bedroom, the mayor Lewis, what a G. His most loved gifts are Autumn's Bounty, glazed yams, hot peppers, and a vegetable medley. Speaking of Marnie, the owner of the ranch, her most loved gifts are the mayor's penis, <laughs> diamonds, farmer's lunch, pink cake, and pumpkin pie. The next villager, my dear homeless friend, who sleeps in a tent and steals people's soggy newspapers, is Linus. And his most loved gifts are blueberry tart, dish of the sea, coconut, cactus fruit, and yams. Moving on to the moodiest, grumpiest woman in Pelican Town, the one who lives at home in a trailer, Pam. Her most loved gifts are alcohol and lots of it, beer, pale ale, mead, cat 
cactus fruit. Glazed yams. Parsnip. And parsnip soup. The next person is Pierre, the owner of the general store. He only has one loved gift, and that is a cooking meal called fried calamari. I mean, talk about being fussy. Jeez, one item. Moving on to the local carpenter, the lady who knows how to punch wood, Robin. Her most loved gifts are goat cheese, spaghetti, and peaches. We all love a peachy bum. Next is the saltiest sailor of the salty seas, the fisherman Willie. His most loved gifts are catfish, diamonds, iridium bar, mead, octopus, pumpkin, sea cucumber, and a lake sturgeon. Up next is the wizard, also known as M. Razimodius, aka Abigail's dad. His most loved gifts are the purple mushroom, solar essence, super cucumber, and a void essence. Strange items, because he is a wizard after all. Now, there is of course Sandy, the, the person in the oasis shop in the desert, and also the dwarf and Mr. Krobus, but I'm not going to do them ones in today's video because they're not necessarily relevant, they're kind of villagers that you can't even marry and you, you don't really seem to talk to them that much because they just do their own little thing, so I've left them out of this video, I've just done the main villagers in Stardew Valley. So guys, this is the end of the video, and that has been all of the villagers' most loved gifts that you can give to them to gain more friendship points and easily gain hearts. So, if you are wanting to marry candidate or just become good friends, and now you know what they love the most. So remember, gifting these items on birthdays and also a higher quality item will give you a huge bonus to the friendship points. I hope this video helped you out in some way, instead of having to browse through the internet or the wiki, I broke it up into one short video for you, explained everything and made it more simple. If you enjoyed it and you found it helpful, please smash that like button to show me your support and if you are new around here, please subscribe to see more of these kind of videos. I have got tons of Stardew Valley content over on my channel for you to check out, but for now, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace. Now, I can't believe what I see. Bunch of people brainwashed and they're thinking they free. We need the best clothes that our money can buy. Just so we can post a picture on the gram like, yeah, like, what the fuck is the matter? Man, that logic is wrong. We've been focused on this dumb shit for way too long. So we missed the real picture when we're glued to our phone. It's like the system wants to make a generation to close.